for a difficult seat scale of this place, it's actually surprisingly large, despite the fact that it's called Cayuga Playground on the books. This park, the landscaping, the sculpture, it's one man's masterpiece. Filipino man who worked here quite a long time. A man named Demetrio Braceros. Everybody called him Demi. When I arrived in there's no beauty, and there are so many problems. What was here was a marsh. The first thing he did was move earth, and the second thing he did was plant. He did his work, and after he did his work, he, uh, he devoted himself to the statues. From the smallest to the, to the biggest object, you are around close to 200. Part of what's wonderful about, about the sculpture that you can find in this park is that it segues so seamlessly into the landscaping. As a matter of fact, I would say that some of the sculpture is done with live plants. There's really no division here. Uh, some of what you'll see is wood sculpture done with logs produced mostly by trees that fell down in this park. Um, and there are a lot of sort of totem pole sized pieces around this green. His choice to do mostly humans and animals it's what he wanted to do. My main motive is to curve uh, different kinds of uh, objects so that uh, there will be harmony. <laughs> um, in the wake of Demi's departure, volunteers from the community have been caring for his park. I've got four people now who come regularly every week to work here with me. This community values this park so much. They take it personally, they come out here and look over it and are responsible for it. This is a remarkable little piece of ground that is one person's vision and a community's heartbeat. This place is a treasure. There's nothing else in San Francisco. I've never seen anything else like this, period.